And tonight, all three deputies are being treated at Vidant Medical Center. That's where we find WRL's Eric Miller joining us live now from outside the hospital. Eric. Uh, Lena, it has been an evening of prayers and worry here in Greenville as family members of those three men ask for prayers and support. After hours of worry Monday, finally an update. The Wayne County Sheriff's Office confirming all three deputies caught in the line of fire are alive. I will go ahead and confirm um, our deputies that were involved. Sergeant Matthew Fishman is in critical condition at this time. Deputy Alexander Torres is stable at this time. Corporal Andrew Cox is also stable at this time. Welcome news after a painful day for their families. Usually I got my phone set up for, for any type of news and uh, I had a bad feeling. I, I, I don't know what, but my phone went off. I look at it. Boom. Chachi Torres, his son, 27-year-old Ramon Torres, was airlifted to the hospital. Torres found out his son was shot twice, with one bullet still in place tonight. One of them, and it's on his hip, still there. The other one he went through. With his son stable, Torres is asking for prayers for the other families impacted. Please, please keep these people in their prayer and hope for the best. That, as the sheriff's office and community offer support. Uh, and of course, our thoughts and prayers are with our deputies right now and our staff that uh, have been through a whole lot today. Now, those prayers have extended to Goldsboro tonight as Trinity Missionary Baptist Church opened its doors for those wanting to pray for Matthew Fishman and the other injured men. Fishman is the son of that church's pastor, Dave Fishman. Lena. Oh, wow. Eric Miller reporting live in Greenville. Thank you.